Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue working with finding the area of rectangles and composite shapes, just like our previous lesson. So it's just like more practice from the previous lesson. So our learning goal for today is I can find areas by decomposing or completing composite figures to form rectangles. So remember, decomposing to find areas is where you're breaking apart a shape into a, a more than one rectangle, so two rectangles, and finding the area of each and combining. And completing composite figures is where we are turning a funny shape that might be missing a part um, and making it a square or a rectangle, finding the area of that, and then subtracting out the smaller piece that's missing. Okay, so I know you guys could do this. The materials that you'll need will be your dry erase board, and you're actually going to need your problem set today. So make sure that you have your lesson 14 problem set because we're actually going to solve a couple of the problems together. So you'll have some of your problem set done by the time you finish this video. Okay, so what two strategies did we learn in the previous lesson to find the area of non-rectangular shapes or those composite shapes? Yeah, so one way is to break apart the shaded part, right? So you can break it apart into two different parts, find the area of each, and then add the area of each one to find the total area of the shaded part. Or we learned how to subtract the unshaded area from the shaded area. So where you're finding the whole area of the square or rectangle, and then you are subtracting the smaller piece that is not shaded, okay? All right, so problem 1A in your problem set. So here is your shape. Okay, we have lots of information here. It says, what is the length of the missing side? So how would we figure out the length of that missing side? So that red side right there. How would we figure out that length? Well, if we know that the opposite sides are the same, remember, always the opposite sides are the same, we already know the measurements for this side because they told us they're two and three. So we would do two centimeters plus three centimeters equals five centimeters. So that means that that side length is five centimeters. Write the equations used to find the area of each of the smaller rectangles. So go ahead, pause the video, and you're finding the area and equation for each of the smaller rectangles. So remember we're doing length times width, so go ahead and pause the video, write your equation for each rectangle, and then find uh, the area of each rectangle, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, here we go. If you need more time, make sure you pause. All right, so I'm going to shift mine over a little bit so I have some space to work. So I'm going to find this area first, so we know that it would be 2 times 5, because those are my side lengths, and 2 times 5 equals 10. So I'm going to put that right in the middle. Then I'm going to come and measure this other rectangle, which we know my side lengths are 3 and 3. So 3 times 3 equals 9. So there I have 9 square centimeters. All right, so now we need to find the area of the whole shaded shape. Okay, so I want you guys to find the area of the whole shape. We know that the two areas are 10 square centimeters and 9 square centimeters. So go ahead and pause the video, find the area of the whole shape, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. So we have 10 plus 9 equals 19. So the figure has an area of 19 square centimeters. Okay, so you guys have problem 1A already done. All right, here is problem 1B. Okay, so this is what you should see on your paper. We're going to find the missing side lengths and then find the area of the shaded figure. Okay, so you guys are actually going to do this one on your own. You're it. So pause the video. Okay, find the missing side lengths and then find the area of the shaded figure. So... The area on mine is white. On yours, it's a shaded in fear, figure. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video. You're going to complete this whole thing on your own. 
Now what might be a little bit tricky is these parts right here. So you're trying to find the area here. Okay, but remember you can use your opposite side lengths to help you to be able to solve that. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video, solve, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. I'm sure you do, that was quick. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna shift this over so I have some room to work. I know that my opposite side lengths will be the same, and I know that the side lengths, when you combine two meters and one meter, you're going to get this total side length, which would be three. And so now I know that the top side is three meters. We need to figure that out because that's how we're going to determine the area of the whole rectangle all the way around. So that's why that's an important measurement to find. Now I need to find the side lengths for this rectangle because that's what we're going to subtract out of the whole rectangle. Okay, so we're going to see these opposite sides are the same. Okay, so it's one meter. So the one side length is going to be one meter. I need to find this side length. Well, if I know the opposite side, I know that they're going to be the same all the way from the top to the bottom. So because of that, I know that these two side lengths that are given combined with this piece right here is going to give me a total of four because that's the opposite side length. So one plus one plus blank equals four. Well, I know that one plus one is two and that two plus two is four. So two is my missing side length. Okay. Now I need to find the area of this whole giant rectangle, which would be the side lengths are four and three. So four times three equals 12. Now I need to find the area of this smaller rectangle because I have to cut out that piece, right? So that would be two and one. So two times one equals two. Now I'm going to subtract the smaller shaded rectangle or smaller unshaded from the shaded, which would be 12 minus two equals 10. So the area of the shaded figure is 10 square meters. Did you guys get that? Okay, awesome. If you need more practice with it, you can go back and watch this part in my explanation of the video again to see if that will help you as well. Okay. All right, so here we have a word problem. Don't let the word problem make you afraid or nervous. You guys can still do it. I know you can. Okay. All right, so Oh, you guys are it. Um, but first, let me read the problem. So it says, Riley has a piece of fabric eight feet long by five feet wide. She cuts out a rectangular piece that measures three feet by two feet. How many square feet of the fabric does Riley have left? Okay, so what I want you guys to do on this first tag your it part is you're just going to draw the rectangle for the piece of fabric that Riley starts with, which is eight feet by five feet. Okay, so pause the video. This is not on your problem set. So this is just where you're gonna need your dry erase board. You draw your rectangle that's five feet by eight feet. Okay, pause the video, draw it, play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, so here's my rectangle, eight by five, okay? The next step that you're going to do is you're going to cut out a rectangular piece that measures three feet by two feet. Okay, so any one of your sides you want to cut out like a little piece and draw like a dotted line to represent that you're kind of cutting it out. Um, that measures three feet by two feet. Remember, it's not going to be exactly precise. Just give kind of an estimate of what that might look like. Okay, so pause the video. Draw that in on your rectangle and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, here's what I came up with. I just drew this dotted line. It's about two feet by three feet. It's totally fine, okay? All right, so the next step is now you guys are actually going to find out how many square feet of fabric Riley has left, okay? So that's where I'm going through, remember, finding the areas, and then you are doing whatever you need to do <laughs> to be able to solve um, and find this amount of square feet that Riley has left, okay? So pause, solve the whole problem, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, it's just like the problems we've been doing. So keep rocking those same steps and you got this. Okay, 
pause, work, and then play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure you pause if you need more time. Okay, so here we're gonna find the area of the whole large rectangle, which would be eight times five. Those are my side lengths. Oh, I love fives because they're so easy. Eight times five is 40. Now I need to find the area of the smaller rectangle, which would be two times three. Those are my side lengths. Two times three is six. And now friends, what's the next step that I need to do? Help me out, I, won't, I forget. Oh yeah, I have to subtract. Okay, so I have to subtract six from 40, which would be 34. All right. All right, so Riley has 34 square feet of fabric left, okay? All right, good job on that one as well, friends. Okay, so bravo, you guys did an awesome job finding the areas by decomposing or completing those composite figures to form rectangles. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you have a great, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.